baby. These are the papers that you need to fill out. And when you're done, just hand them back to me and I'll give them to the lady in the front desk. Okay? Okay. Oh my goodness. Hmm. It's so early. But, you know, the sooner we get this done, the sooner your procedure's over and you can just relax and focus on you getting better. Hey, baby, you're shaking. Look at me. Are you okay? Do you want me to write these out for you? You got it? Okay. How are you feeling? Nervous? <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's completely understandable. I mean, this is a big procedure. Even if you don't think it is, it's pretty big. <laughs> Don't worry. You're in good hands. These people, they've been trained rigorously over and over and over to do what they're doing. <laughs> of course, I'm sure. I mean, your surgeon is a professional. For years, these guys go to school, not even just to learn about the specific area that they're trained in, but they learned about the whole medical system in general. These guys went through a lot just to be able to do what they're doing. So, I'd say they, they know, <laughs> they know their trade. Baby, don't worry. Don't think about that. They know what to do. And you're going to be fine. Of course. Of course I'll listen. What are you worried about? Mm hmm? Hmm. Yeah, needles aren't fun. Trust me, I know. Mm -hmm. mm. I understand. Hey, baby, here, let me hug you. Mm. It's going to be okay. All right? I've been here a couple of times for procedures of my own, and I turned out fine. Well, I have her a couple of scars, but I'm fine. Besides, your surgeon is the same one that I had, which is awesome. A little weird, too, so if I ever run into her, she'll say, Oh, it's you. How are you doing? How are your scars? And then it'll get weird. But, this is a good person. They know what they're doing, I promise. Hmm? How did I feel? Oh, trust me. I was just as nervous as you are right now. But, I think that's normal. You have every right to be nervous. Don't let it get to your head. You're going to be fine. And this is a procedure that you kind of have to go through. <laughs> it's too late to bow up now. Come on. Once this is all over, you'll feel better. Well, actually, you'll kind of feel gross. But, you know, overall, you're just... You're going to feel better. 
Mm. Um, what happened? Well, if you want me to mentally prepare you for what's going to happen, I can do my best. It's been a couple years since I had my last procedure, so I have to remember. Mm. Okay. So, after I signed these papers of my own, and gave them to the woman, I was given a band and a bracelet. You know, those plasticky hospital ones that are really hard to get off. Well, I know you're not supposed to take them off, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know you're not really supposed to bring them home either, but... I might have sneaked this one out. Snuck. Snuck it out. <laughs> anyway, I digress. They'll give you the bracelet, and then they will take you to the, the pre-op room. Pre-op room is not a big deal. It's actually really, really nice. Won't always be private, but they'll have the curtains to keep you from being seen by a lot of people. Uh, the pre-op nurse will come in, and they'll give you a one of those robes, those weird things that you have to tie, and it's like backwards or forwards or you know, yeah, <laughs> they're impossible to figure out. Anyway, they'll tell you to get in that, and they'll tell you to completely strip down before you put it on. And by strip down, I mean strip down. Don't do what I do, because I forgot to take a certain article of clothing off, and they had to do it. And that was a little embarrassing, so make sure to take it off. No, they won't look anywhere. Trust me, it's fine. Yes, Pinky promise. <laughs> Anyways, after that happens, I think they'll give you a bag for the clothes and anything else you might have. It could be a phone, could be a wallet, but ideally you leave that with the person that drove you. Which, in this case, is me. By the way, um, where is all that? Oh, perfect. Alright, yeah, I have a bag here. Let me make sure that all of it stays with me. Yeah. I'll have it when you're done, I promise. Mm-hmm. Once you're comfortable, and they'll make sure you're comfortable, they'll talk you through what's going to happen, and, well, then they'll work on, um, well, there's no easy way to say this, but they'll put the needle in, where they'll, you know, give you the anesthesia, all that stuff, so that you fall asleep. And that will be the best thing ever. It'll also feel really weird, but I'll explain that in a minute. If they say they're going to put it in your hand, which is, I think, rare, ask them to put it in your arm, because the hand thing hurts. That was my first procedure, and I was not, and I repeat, not a fan. The pre-op nurses are usually really nice because they know how nervous you are, so they'll most likely help. They'll give it to you in your arm, and I know, baby, I know. It's not going to be fun either way, but just when that happens, breathe. And if you have to, don't look. Look away, think about something nice, calm, 
usually the nurse will talk to you while they apply it so that it sort of distracts you. Yeah, you gotta make sure you relax. Anyway, after that, then they will, they'll talk to you for a little bit. If you have to wait, then you wait. And sometimes they will talk, sometimes they won't. And then, maybe I'll be able to go in. If I do, then I'll talk to you a little more, okay? But if I can't, then you'll be met by the surgeon. And they'll remind you that you're going to be taken care of, okay? Well, then once the time comes, they'll wheel you in on the hospital thing, the bed. <laughs> and then they will, yeah, they'll wheel you in to the operating room. And all I can tell you is just to be calm. Do what I tell you to do when you're nervous. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, okay? They'll work on um, putting you onto the operating table, which will be comfortable, so don't worry. And, well, you'll probably have to shimmy a little bit. Just be careful with the arm with the needle in there. It'll be connected to fluids and then also to the anesthesia to make sure that you are comfortable and still have fluids while you're under. They'll make sure that nothing is on you. They will then tell you that they're going to apply the anesthesia and then you will immediately start to feel really heavy. Not gonna lie, the first thing I said when I felt the anesthesia, when I started to go under, was Oh man, I really feel it now. And then I was knocked out. It was pretty funny, and I'm pretty sure the nurses laughed. <laughs> but then, you'll be done. No problem, no drama. Your procedure will be over, and you'll be okay. Yeah, simple as that. Afterwards, you'll be in the post-op room post-operation and then you'll just rest they'll ask you if you want me to go in and you can say yes or no and they'll just make sure that you're applied the right medication and so that you're not in pain then you can rest a little more and when you're ready just tell them that you want me to go in I'll be there I promise I'm not planning to go anywhere. No. No, not even to get coffee. Okay? I'm here for you. You're going to be okay. Of course. I guess it's a good thing your girlfriend has been through a couple of procedures. At least I know what's going on. <laughs> well, you would be fine without me. But I'm glad I'm here. Hmm. Okay. Now you feel a little better. Let's fill out these papers. And I'll give them to the woman. And we can get this started, okay? You got this. <laughs>